there's a real bias about population decline. There's a there's some sort of instinctual fear of it that I'm not sure I fully understand. Um, I'm amazed at how strong it is. I'm amazed, for example, at how many journalists um, talk about a stable population and use the term stagnant. You know, they tend to use adjectives that sound like this is really boring or dull or, you know, stagnation implies um, disease almost or, or stench. <laughs> Or, uh, or just you know, the idea that you know a shark that isn't moving forward has to be dying and falling to the ocean floor or something, and um, I'm not sure I do fully understand it. Given that for most of human history we had fairly stagnant uh, human populations, certainly stable ones, I think economists like to like to convince uh, people that uh, populations have to grow because. Um, without a growing population, we won't have a growing economy, and without a growing economy, um, it's the end of the world. I mean, that's, you know, the, the, the goose's golden eggs are all gone. And uh, quite to my surprise, journalists, of, and I was a journalist, seem to have fallen for that, almost hook, line, and sinker, with, with few exceptions, certainly among business reporters. And there's this, um, even among reporters who sometimes cover population in rapidly uh, growing countries, and consider it to be a problem when it's rapidly growing, they'll look at a place like Japan and just assume that Japan is in a world of trouble um, because its population is, at the moment, peaking. It's not even declining really right now, it's just peaking. And I've never quite been, understand, been able to understand why this is, but I think there's a pervasive image in society that um, populations always grow, and they have to grow, and they're dynamic when they grow, and they're not dy dynamic. Uh, when they fall. I mean, that said, I, I don't think population decline is without problems. Um, cities that have certain kinds of population decline um, can be more challenging to govern. They can, um, they can have problems in regarding to uh, f uh, failing housing stock. Um, uh, there are adjustments that need to be made when populations decline. But for the most part, the adjustments that are made when populations decline are the, the kind of adjustments that human beings are very good at making. Um, they find ways to put in new policies or um, new ways to finance pensions or Social Security or whatever. They change things so that, that we adjust to that sort of changing situation. Uh, whereas some of the problems caused by rising populations are problems we've never faced before in human history, for example, climate change, uh, for example, falling water, rapidly falling water tables in multiple parts of the planet, uh, for example, dramatic and potentially catastrophic losses in uh, biological diversity. These are things we're not well adapted to handle. Um, so my sense of, of population decline versus population increase is that we're worried about the wrong problem and that a lot of people are stuck in this um, uh, cultural bias against uh, stability when it comes to demographic change. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Calling, 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 calling. Call the growth buster. Whoa, whoa, whoa.